Hi guys, it's been a while since I bought anything from Portland Leather Goods or showed you anything from Portland Leather Goods. So today I'm going to give a demo and review of the new Portland Leather Goods Luna bag in the large and petite sizes. So as I mentioned, it's been a while since I tried anything from Portland Leather Goods. Um, I have a uh, one of their original medium shoulder bag totes. I have a crossbody tote. Um, I had the non-zip version of that and then I sold that and replaced it with the zippered version. And I also had a mini crossbody tote which I actually just recently sold because I just didn't find myself using it. Uh, however, they recently came out with a bunch of new different styles. If you haven't followed them lately. Um, they have so many new different colors and styles and limited edition things coming out. I don't usually get sucked in by that because I'm very particular about the colors and styles and things that I like, but I saw this Luna bag come out. I saw somebody posted it in a Facebook group and everything that they were able to fit in it and I was like, wow, that looks great. So I went on the Portland Leather Goods website to order one and as has happened in the past, the thing I actually wanted was sold out. So they also had a petite version and I saw some people share their petite versions and what all they fit in it and I was like, oh I bet the petite one would work for me. So I ended up ordering the petite and actually this was my first uh, Portland Leather Goods purchase that I've ever bought from their Almost Perfect section, which is like a discounted section that just has some kind of imperfections and most people find that they really don't notice what the imperfections are and I agree, I have no idea what about this bag makes it almost perfect. There was not a scratch on it, there is not anything wrong with you know the zippers or the straps or anything. The only thing that I thought it might be, and you probably won't even, it probably, well, maybe it'll show up on camera, there's like a little circle right here. You might see it kind of reflecting in the camera. So I don't know if it was that, like some sort of imperfection with the leather right here on the bottom of the bag. I don't know, but anyway, don't be afraid of purchasing from the Almost Perfect section if you're interested. Um, but I ended up getting the Almost Perfect because the black color was sold out in both sizes in the regular, you know, premium version. So I got my Petite Luna bag, started putting my things in it, and I was like, this is a little tight. Like I can make it work, but it's a little small. So then I saw the large size came back in stock, so I ordered that too, and I think I like this size a lot more. But what I'm going to do is kind of a comparison and show you the details and the, you know, the dimensions, and I will show you actually what of my regular carry items fits in each of these bags. I also just wanted to add before we get started, Portland Leather Goods always has a sale. You never need to pay full price on this site. If you're not shopping from the Almost Perfect section, which is already discounted, they always have some kind of discount code. And I have a referral code for 30% off. I'll put in the um, video description. Usually their discount code is 25% off, so you can always count on that. Um, but I think if it's your first time shopping, try to use my referral code and you'll save even a little bit more than that. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold these up and compare them while I read off the dimensions, okay? The petite is six inches across at the top. The large is seven inches across at the top. The petite is seven inches across the bottom. The large is eight inches across the bottom. Petite is three quarters of an inch top depth. I assume that means, you know, how wide it is across here. The large, also three quarters of an inch top depth. The petite is four inches bottom depth. I assume that means this width across here. And the large is four and a half inches bottom depth. And finally, the petite is six and three quarters inches high. And the large is seven and a half inches high. So you can see and hear from all those dimensions that they're really only like an inch different in every dimension, but I think it has a huge effect on the actual capacity of each of these bags. They also both have the same length strap, which is adjustable, uh, 45 and a half inches to 55 inches. So you have 10 inches that you can adjust it. It just 
um, adjust with a regular kind of belt buckle and holes. Uh, you could poke your own additional holes if you wanted. And the strap on both of them attaches just on one side. There are little metal uh, D rings. So there's no strap on the front side of either bag. It attaches in two points on the back of the bag. Other than that, they both have the same features. So they have this kind of crescent opening where it zips with a double zipper down both sides and then opens up wide. I really like the way that the bags open. They have like a, a gusset on each side where it zips. There's no pockets or anything inside that's standard for the Portland leather bags. Um, they're pretty much just the raw leather. And then they both have a front pocket that just zips across and is just a flat pocket. Um, but you can fit you know, a decent amount in here. It's not, um, it's not too tight or stiff, even though it is, you know, the nice thick leather and especially the black color leather, if you get that, it is like a little more stiff and smooth than some of the other colored leathers or pebbled leathers, um, but it definitely has enough give that you can actually use the pocket. Uh, the zippers zip really nicely, obviously the whole way around. And so I think, especially with this one where it has to kind of go around corners, it's important to have a really good zipper. Now, I know some people have been commenting recently about the Portland Leather Goods zippers because they used to use YKK, which is sort of like the gold standard zipper brand, and apparently they aren't anymore. Some people have said, oh, it's not on you know, the zipper pull handle, but if you look inside the zipper, you'll see that it still says YKK. Um, this one does not. This one says G2. So I don't know what brand zipper that is, but I mean, it does zip very smoothly, again, going around the corners. And I guess finally I'll mention they do have gold hardware. Um, I think most of the Portland Leather Goods bags have gold hardware. I'm a silver person, but I'm willing to overlook that <laughs> for the small amount of hardware that's on these bags. So I thought the easiest way to see what's gonna fit in these is to take my regular bag that has you know everything I would possibly be carrying and just start taking out the essentials and see you know how much of the essentials fits in each of these bags. So I'm going to start with the petite version since I don't think we'll get as far on this one. Um, again, it opens up really nice and wide, which is great. Um, but I was just so surprised. It seems like it's a very generous size, but I don't want to spoil anything, but I was kind of surprised by what actually ended up fitting in here. So first item is going to be my wallet. I actually, um, have started carrying this wallet kind of more recently and it's sort of like a, a oversized wallet. This was my fossil wallet that I was using previously. And you can see this, um, Bradley London one has like an extra inch or so of space. So I brought this one just in case, but this is my current wallet. So we'll put that in here and like already that's a tight fit. Um, I guess my next item should probably be my cell phone. We we'll want to make sure that fits. And I guess I'll want my car keys. And then let's see a pair of sunglasses. Maybe I can put them down one side. It's starting to get tight in here already. And I'll want a mask. Maybe I can put that in the front pocket. With maybe a lip balm. That's probably about it for the front pocket. Uh, hand sanitizer, do you think we'll have space? Yeah. But this is really, that's very tight now. Uh, I can, I can zip it up, but it is definitely tight. It's looking kind of lumpy from the outside. I don't think I would go any more than this. It also just feels heavy and dense. Um, but so that is what fits pretty much in the petite size, I would say. Um, and then it's hard to kind of get things out. So, you know, if I needed my cell phone, now I have to kind of <laughs> dig through and yank it out. So it is pretty tight in this one. Just for comparison, if I were to use the smaller wallet, I think that makes things a little, fit a little better, but even still, it doesn't really change that much. So, okay. All right, so let's move on to the large size and see what a difference a couple inches in every direction makes. So again, I'll start with my wallet. 
and my phone. Um, actually, there's enough height in this one that I can stand both of these up vertically and that'll make it easier to pull them out because I don't have to kind of dig in. Uh, I'll put my car keys and my bottle of hand sanitizer and my sunglasses. And there's actually still plenty of room in here. Everything's loose. There's space to access things. Let me put in the front pocket the mask and the lip balm. I could maybe even fit a tube of lotion. Yeah, it's a little tight, it's a little lumpy. Maybe I wouldn't do that big tube. Now how about my reusable shopping bag? I usually carry this rolled up in my regular purse and I think, yeah, there's totally room to slide that down the side. And again, it still zips up. It doesn't really feel too, uh, squished so again it is it just feels dense this is kind of like a dense <laughs> condensed bag um, but definitely this large feels much less squished and squeezed in here um, it doesn't feel like I'm kind of pushing the limits of what's gonna fit in the bag so again, kind of looking at like my bare minimum things that I would want to have with me um, as you start prioritizing, I think I can definitely make it work in the petite, but the large is just much more comfortable feeling. So here is the petite on me. Here's how it looks. Nice and small. I'm five foot four. I have it adjusted to kind of a uh, toward the shorter end of the strap, maybe like two thirds of the way to the shorter end. And here, you know, I can reach in and pull things out comfortably. So that is the petite size. And here is the large size Luna bag. Again, the adjustable strap is about two thirds of the way toward the shorter end of the adjustment. So, very comfortable, a little larger, obviously can reach in and grab things. It is sort of weird to zip this the whole way down while it's on, but again, because it has those gussets on the side, nothing's going to fall out the sides just because you zip the zippers the whole way down, which is nice. So, again, here is the large size on me. So I hope you found that helpful. I know there's not a ton of information out there about the Luna bag maybe yet. I actually had heard that it was going to be a limited edition thing and I thought it was going away, but then it came back. So hopefully it stays around because I do like the bag. I think it's just a really neat shape and it looks really cool. So um, hopefully that helps you make a decision about whether it's right for you and if you'd like to purchase one. And again, if you are shopping Portland leather goods, don't pay full price. Um, if you don't want to use their discount code, I also have a discount code for 30% off, I believe, which I will put in the video description. So thank you for using that. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.